And today is kind of a part two of a topic about working out with a new tattoo. Last year, we did a video with my dear colleague and friend Martin, where he was the host, about working out and exercising with a new tattoo. We got more than 300 questions and comments on the video, and we are going to dig into some of the frequently asked ones. And let me start with the most asked one. No, you will not destroy or ruin your new tattoo by working out. Unless, of course, we're talking about the extreme. If you're a skinny guy or pump guy like me, and you go into the not next level, but like 10 levels up and suddenly that I want to look like Mr. Olympic. Yes, I would definitely damage my tattoo, but I don't think I'm capable for that. So your tattoo will never ever get ruined by you going to exercise or working out. Don't worry. The cool thing about skin, human skin, is that it is elastic and it expands and it shrinks with your body. And it means that so does your tattoo. Say in the, in the scenario that won't happen, that I end up getting a bicep twice the size at what it is today. My dear friend Batman here, he would do the same. He would of course look somehow weird with it because it would change the shape. But it's not like if my bicep grows, that then the tattoo breaks. It's not happening, as said, unless we're talking about the extreme, because you can get stretch marks in tattoos, and you will get stretch mark in your tattoos if you were to get stretch marks on your skin. We always preach and advise for a two weeks break from exercising and heavy working out when you have a new tattoo. And there are various reasons why. When you walk into the gym with a fresh new tattoo, you basically walk into a new environment that is not always the cleanest and nicest with a new tattoo which is an open wound that you just paid for therefore you want to take care of it and make sure that you don't interact and interfere with bacteria sharp items all kind of sturdy stuff which you can and will find in your local gym no matter how high the level is of hygiene in the gym or even if people are good at rinsing down their equipment after usage, there are very big chances of cross-contamination and you don't wanna do that to your new tattoo. Sorry, gym owners, but that's just how it is. When you sweat, your skin opens up to get rid of the sweat or to you know push the sweat out. And when that happens, you're not really helping the healing process of your tattoo and of your skin. You're prolonging the process and you don't want to do that. Next thing is that when your tattoo is healing, you also want to make sure that the skin is getting some rest. So if you're working out, there will be a lot of movement happening in your skin. If you're wearing tight gym clothes, you want to avoid getting too much friction on your new tattooed skin. We also do get a lot of questions about various placements. So, hey, I'm getting tattooed on my ribcage tomorrow. Can I go bro? I'm getting tattooed on my elbow. Can I go swim? I'm getting tattooed on my biceps. Can I work out? Can I run? Can I do heavy lift? I'm just getting a small fine line tattoo on my hand. Can I work out? I want a big old school banger on my thigh. Can I do soccer? To answer these questions in one, your skin and your body does not care about what style you get, whether it's color, black and gray, fine line, old school, new traditional, it does not care. Your skin and your body only cares about how you take care of it and how you treat it when it's healing, because that's all your body is about with a new tattoo. Of course, the bigger tattoo, more trauma applied to your body, more work to heal, and of course, higher chances of getting an infection or hitting it against a sharp item or something like that. With all of this being said, smaller tattoos are easier to bring to the gym than bigger tattoos. And obviously, some placements of new tattoos are more vulnerable or exposed whenever you want to go exercise with it. Say hands, for example. Absolute no-go. Don't go to the gym with new hand tattoos. Joints, a lot of movement. Feet, most likely wearing shoes and socks and you'll be sweating your feet. But tattoos that can be placed in placements that doesn't really interfere with tight clothing and friction can of course be easier to bring to the gym or wear when you wanna go to the gym. And even though I would never ever recommend going to the gym when the new tattoo is healing, I would say if you are going, make sure that you don't exercise or do a workout that is targeting the body part that you just got tattooed. So basically, if you got a big ass eagle on your entire back, don't do the back day for two weeks. If you got a nice big snake on your thigh, skip leg day. 
if you are going to the gym, if you are working out or exercising during the two first weeks, you're most likely okay. You're going to be okay. Nothing is going to go crazy. But if you do it, there are way bigger chances that you can damage your tattoo. And the thing about tattoos is that you pay for them. You get them because you care about them. You get them because they mean something for you. And if that takes two weeks break to make sure that it heals up nicely so it can look good for the rest of your days, I would say that the break is definitely worth it. These two weeks, basically, the healing time for your new tattoo is the most important time for your new tattoo. This is where you decide on how you want it to look, but it's also where you help it settle and become a part of you for the rest of your days. And I think that matters because you got your tattoos for a reason. You got them because you care. You got them because you want them. And if you want them, take care of them. I brought this up in other videos before that I've also messed up my new tattoos by working out. And I also do work out. I don't lift weights, but I do exercise. And I would, of course, sorry, but I would probably also go exercise with a new tattoo but i would be very very careful about what i did and i once did this stupid thing tattoo on my arm where i messed it up because i was playing soccer on artificial grass with it same day i got it i slip i fall on it and i tear it up and that tattoo has been needing retouches twice and some of the lines are still with blowouts check out that video if you want because the healing process went really bad because I basically broke it by falling on it and i caused damage to my new tattoo when it was settling and becoming a permanent part of me i really regret going to play that football game that one day that was it for today's video i hope you enjoyed it feel free to bombard the comment section with questions about working out, exercising with tattoos. And if you have any tips and tricks on how you can get through a good workout or a good exercise session with your new tattoo, feel free to share them because we also care about people being able to, you know, live their life with their new tattoo. Thank you for watching. Remember to subscribe, ring the bell, share it with your friends and take care. Bye.